Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. Okay, cool. Awesome. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so I just played your song "Tragic" for everybody. Mm. Yeah. So like, of course, you're my first interview. So I wanted to, you know, just still get this Ooh. recorded and everything. <laughs> Hey, I'm starting somewhere and I'm excited to be starting with you and along the lines we'll hit up again. Hopefully when I have a studio, you'll see me oh, first. I'm glad. <laughs> so, um, just introduce yourself for people who are like first time seeing you. Well, hey, I'm Lena Cray. I'm an artist from Brooklyn. So how long have you been doing music? Um, um first time I've ever gone in the studio, I was like 16, 17, but I really didn't know much mm -hmm. back then. Mm -hmm. Then I started, like, you know, getting back into it around, like, 2020. So a couple of years. Okay. You started taking music very yeah. seriously in 2020. Uh, I saw your song. Very seriously, but I started dropping, yeah. So, wait, you dropped. Where did you drop? Were you dropping on, like, Spotify and... Apple Music? Um, yeah, so Apple Music, Spotify, and stuff like that. So you didn't go through, like, the SoundCloud era stuff? Like... Mm, no, I had, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, when I was, um like, 16, I had one, two songs, like, out on um, SoundCloud. But, like, I didn't really know much. It was just, like, through my friends who were doing it. So it was just, like, I wasn't promoting it. I wasn't really, like, you know, doing anything. I just did it. I was around it a lot. Okay. So wait, you have friends. I was friends like, oh, this who... is cool, but. You have friends who do music as well? Yeah. Cool. Like, that's so much cooler than what I have going on. Like, I, I, like... I can never meet people who make music. Like, really, I can't. <laughs> Really? I feel like, well, now, because, like, I've done events and, like, you know, shows and stuff, I'm, my Instagram's, like, full with a bunch of artists and engineers and producers and stuff, but um, before, like, when I was younger, um, people, my friends just had, like, a little studio in their house type of vibe, and then, like, you know, it was, like, more, like, super, super underground, like. Okay, so, your song Drop. I noticed that like you have like a very sex positive feminine body appreciation approach to your music. Um, would you consider yourself a feminist or would you consider yourself like girl empowerment type music? Um, I wouldn't say I'm a feminist, but um, yeah, definitely I make music for the girls. Um, I'm a girl's girl for sure. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. Girl's girl, I feel like that in a level is a level of feminism but it doesn't have to technically make you a feminist i know what you mean though um <laughs> do you have an opinion do you have an opinion on guys or like people constantly saying opinion. like <laughs> like uh, okay so do you <clears throat> like uh, when people say like sex positive rap is just pussy rap like how do you feel about that um no i don't think it's just pussy rap. I think, like, you know, it's us embracing our sexuality and, you know, yeah. what what else are we going to talk about? Hmm. Like, you, when we talk about, like, you know, being tough and, you know, right. outside street stuff, they say, oh, girls shouldn't be talking about that. But then when we talk about our body and us being cute and sexy, then it's a problem, too. So it's like... You damned if you do and you damned if you don't. Like, That's I don't like that. You. I don't like that. But at the end of the day, like, I feel like as long as you make it right. clever and you're very clever and you're very smart in the way that you, like, put your lyrics together. So, like, I feel like that's going to take you far. Like, you're not just, Thank you. like, 
bitch, 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 eat my pussy, pussy, pussy. Like, so, like, I don't know. You could do that. But, like, you have, like, yeah, rhyme yeah. scheme. Right. You have, like, you know, you different could, words. Right? Like, it's what's up. Also get creative, too. Mm-hmm. Um, who would you say are some of your influences? Um, some of my influences? Like mm. other artists or maybe even a public figure that you saw growing up. Like some people love Marilyn Monroe. Anybody? Yeah, I like her. But um, I think like, you know, when it comes to music, like obvious, the obvious, like Nicki Minaj and mm -hmm. Cardi, like, you know, I like them. Video wise, like I would say, like Michael Jackson, Chris Brown type of videos and stuff like that. Do you dance? That I would look up to. Do you dance? Like, do you do choreography? I could pick it up, but mm -mm, no, I could take a class or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I saw, like, okay, so you do, like, I don't want to, I don't know how to say it. Do you do OnlyFans or sex work or anything like that? No, well, I don't do OnlyFans. I don't know. Oh, you don't do OnlyFans? Because I saw some people no. be like paying for their career with like, like I saw my favorite artist, she's like, her name's Peary. She paid for all of like her new music uh, for, with her OnlyFans. And I was like, that's still like. Now she's touring, so what? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I don't knock it, but I wonder, like, what would I post? Like, you know? I do, too. I was like, if I was ever doing like, OnlyFans, yeah. I don't know. I'll do sensual readings. Like, oh, I would do yeah. book readings. What would I post? I would do book readings and then be, like, sensual <laughs> with it. Like, I don't know. People always say, like, your voice, would, I, would, I could go to sleep to it. And so, like, I'm like, oh. Okay, maybe I'm gonna. Right, you're gonna catch me on there cutting some fruit, like mm, yes, yeah, cutting fruit. <laughs> I'm getting crazy, with Lena Cray. Her, <laughs> no, we'll definitely some fruit. But like, they could be doing on TikTok. They be doing that on TikTok Live. Oh, they do. Like, it's not like the NPC stuff. They yeah, do. But I've been seeing people like. No, like not doing interviews. Like, I mean, they do everything on there. But I see this one guy. He be on there, like cutting up fruit and eating it and talking. Like, um, fun fact for today: this fruit. Da 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 da. And I'm like, well, you have hmm, people watch this all. You have all a good day. voice. You have a good presence, and you just look good. So, like, I feel like you could eat up any market you Thank take you. on. Your hair is really pretty. Can I say that? <laughs> This is really pretty. Thank you. I just did this too. What? Mm, I needed like a little change. Wait, so is it blonde? I can't fully tell because it's a little dark, but. Yeah, it's like a blonde grayish strip. Okay, like, so it is blondish gray. Like a little robe. Yes, <laughs> yes. X Men. So do you wait? Since we're talking about that, do you like superheroes and comic books and stuff like that? Or is it just something you notice like a reference? No, yeah, I do. I love um, Marvel and X Men and Spider Man and um, Star Wars, all that stuff. Cool. You watch anime? Not really. Okay. Like, mm -mm. I don't um, watch anime really. I was just I'm, wanted to see because I'm like, I know there are some people. I feel love like it. it's like hmm? it's super dramatic. I've watched like you know a couple of um, Naruto episodes, okay. but it's like I'd be like, damn, like this is real far fetched. It's so very it's long. Me. It's so long. I can't get to it, get through it because like if it's something that's like right. past ten seasons, I'm like, oh, I'm I just shy away from it. Okay. Right. Like I like a good five, five seasons, four or five seasons, with hope that there might be a sixth. But like after that, right. A lot. Okay. The song "Tragic." What made you write that song? Because I saw the scenario in the beginning of the video, and was it like, did it like actually have some bitches that you knew that was hating on you, or did you just feel like inclined to write that song for the girls who have bitches that be hating on them? Kind of like when bitches just generally be hating. <laughs> Yeah, I just feel, I, 
Yeah, I don't have like no ops or nothing like that. I don't really get into no problems. It's good vibes over here. But like, you know, there is a lot of back and forth with girls like just not even knowing you, but seeing you on social media with people that they know or with that, like, you know, whatever. And it's like they make assumptions. So I was just going off of that, you uh, know. Facts, facts. Do you how do you feel about female rapper beefs? Do you think female rappers need beef to thrive in like do you need do you think that the girl rap industry needs beef to thrive or do you feel like it could really just be kumbaya and everybody could be successful? I feel like people make it seem like there needs to be beef like you have to have a little storyline with toxic um you know bullshit going on because they feel I guess people feel like that's what women do. Mm. We're catty, we're like, yeah. you know. But I don't think so personally. I think like it would be way better if we there was more collaborations and it was more kumbaya, you know. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of male rappers, they think they need beef to thrive. So they see the same way for female rap. But maybe that works in their category because they always feel like it got to be like a dominating thing. But for women, our energy is enough to just fill the room with everybody. It don't have to be catty, catty, catty. We all got, we all shine a different way. Like, I don't know, men is very, like, they got to be dominant. They got to have the one be dominant. With, men, with women, we definitely work better together. That's just me. I feel like it could work like that for guys too, but they just are, yeah, like you say, it's an ego thing for them. Right. I'm not saying they can't, but yeah, it's an ego thing. Definitely. Okay. So we want to go into, I want to go into like more of a like personal funny questions. Uh, what's your biggest turn off in a guy or partner? Like, I don't know what your orientation is. So what's your biggest turn off in a partner? My biggest turn off in a partner, I would say it's like, hmm being insecure mm -hmm. and then like having that affect like our relationship because you're insecure okay and your biggest turn on my biggest turn on hmm. somebody who's like motivating and ambitious so like you're so ambitious that it motivates me to be even more ambitious i like that okay do you have a type I don't think I have a type, but I think, like, I like funny. Okay. Like, if you're funny, then I'm going to be like, mm. I love them funny. <laughs> Do you have a positive affirmation or model that you go, that you follow or get, use every day, especially, like, to get you through the rough days? Positive model? Um, I think, like, I would say this too shall pass. <laughs> that's a that's a positive motto that i always like will keep in the back of my mind if i'm going through something rough mm -hmm. no that's that's perfect because honestly it might nothing... be rough today but tomorrow trouble don't <laughs> last always that's like another saying that kind of goes into that like you don't ha you're not going to be in this position that you are in now if it's a bad position and technically like even if you were in a bad position Say you're having a bad day. Sometimes the thing you pray for now is happening. And the next thing you just got to like be patient for it. Because I know for me, I get very impatient with wanting all of my stuff to pile up and do better. But what I also wanted currently was to just be in my own place and be at peace. And so now that's where I'm at. So I got to wait to get to the next thing. Like I can't rush it. <laughs> oh, right. um, some more fun questions. Uh, if you could be any animal, what would you be? I love this. And I love this question. Oh, damn, because I like a bunch of them. <laughs> but um, hmm. I want to say I would want to be a cheetah. A cheetah? It's my favorite animal. Why do I feel like you was going to yeah. say that? You have that vibe. Or an owl. An owl? <laughs> a cheetah or an owl. What's okay? I kind of get the cheetah, but can you explain a little bit on why both of them? Because I really want to know about the owl, though. Um, I say cheetah because they run fast as hell and they're mad pretty. Okay, like, now you know? yeah, that's, I knew that was kind of um, what you was gonna say, but with owl, let me okay, let me hear. It. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the owl, like you know, they're fire ass birds, 
And, you know, birds could fly. Um, I can't do the pigeon, so, you know, got to be, like, something real beautiful. Oh. And their heads could turn, like, 360. That's so true. that's cool. <laughs> you would want your head to turn 360. Yeah, like, you like, know, what's see going everything. On? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like they just be turning their heads around. Who said something? <laughs> so yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. Would you rather have no phone for a week or no money for a week? So you can mm-hmm. ask someone for money, but you can't. You I don't would rather money. have no money for a week. Okay. I would rather have no money for a week because without no phone, how am I gonna contact anybody to get any money? But you can have. But- <laughs> But wait, if you had no phone, you'd have money. <laughs> wait, is that a riddle? Is this a riddle? No. No. <laughs> it's literally a question while I made it, while going to the gym. But I'm just saying, though, like, you know, with a phone, I can make more money. Okay. If I just hop I thought about no it phone, that way, too, in a way. I was like, honestly, you probably make money right there on the phone. You don't need to have physical money or you need to have that you don't even have to have your cards you could right, start with no money. money if i have money for a week you could start with no money right. have a phone for a week and you probably come up like period exactly. more than you have even if you have money in your pocket week, even if you have 50 dollars in your pocket and i'm that not phone, working that's crazy yeah with no money in your pocket say you have 50 dollars in your pocket that phone will probably get you to another like 500 <laughs> don't ever know like that phone will get you there so um instagram or tiktok instagram you like instagram more do you watch the reels yeah i have to yeah i do watch the reels and like i could get the hang of like making the reels like i haven't like really got the gist of tiktok like you got it, i can't do them dances and shit like i'd be like mm. You don't have to see. I don't even do. I sh- I used to try to dance. I am a great dancer in a routine. I'm a terrible TikTok dancer. Like I used to tear up some like dance battles, but I can't do TikTok dances at all. <laughs> but you could technically make talk like videos. Like Dance Dance Revolution. You like Dance Dance Revolution? How good are you at it? <laughs> I'm not that good. You ever play when you go to like the arcades and stuff? Yeah, I'll be trying to play. Oh, snap. Actually, I wanted to go back to one of the questions that I think I skipped. So, what's your ethnicity? I had wanted to ask you that. I'm Portuguese, Costa Rican, and Trinidadian. Oh, you like a mixture of cultures here. What's like the <laughs> what's like the most are is it like all three of them play a part in like who you are as a person? Or just, like, one is, like, mainly, like, the dominant one? To be honest, I feel like, no, I'm American. (laughs) (laughs) So, wait, do any, do you speak any other languages? Mm -mm, Nope. Because I was going to say, like, do you ever plan on putting any of the, like, influence in your music? Um, I feel like I wouldn't be opposed to, like, trying it out. But um, to say that that's something that, you know, I can't I do right now, no, like, I don't, I would have to learn. <laughs> you don't have that to would make do like a Caribbean language. song, for sure. Yeah, I was like, say, I would like with Caribbean, like, Caribbean songs, you don't really like, have to do too much. <laughs> that's nice. Like, that would be nice. Right. If that Drake would... could do it, I could definitely do it. <laughs> Drake just be, Drake just be shape-shifting. Let's not. <laughs> He just be shape shifting into whatever he want to do this week. Like, and he does it though. He nails it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but okay. He really do though. With your freestyle, I noticed you did a freestyle on the boardwalk. Uh, I forgot exactly the name of the uh, place that you did it under, but I know it was called Still Tipping. What made you choose that sample? Like, what made you choose that? Be- mm, so when I first did that song, it was well that sample. Everybody was doing like, they were coming out with like samples from old songs and uh, they were going far, like it was going crazy. Right. So my engineer was like, 
oh, I got this fire ass sample. Nobody's touched it. Like mm -hmm. it would be fire if a girl walked on it. So I was like, hmm. Because you He ate put that. it on and I was like, thank you. Yeah, he put it on and I was like, nah, this is, <laughs> this go crazy. So Yeah. then, yeah, that's No, what's going I to loved happen. it. I listened to it. I was like, oh, oh, she, she talking her big shit. <laughs> I loved it. Thank you. So just a couple more of the fun questions. And then I think I'm going to just roll up. We're going to roll up out of here. Um, so sweet or savory? Mm. I'm, I'm neither like because I'm like a more of a is salty savory because then I guess Mm. it Yeah, would that's be what savory that means. Savory is usually be salty. oh <laughs> okay so I guess savory because Okay. I'm not really a sweet type of person Wow. Okay. Uh, if you had to eat a candy, what's your favorite one? Mm, a Reese's. A Reese's. So you like chocolate in it too? Did you like, like Reese's peanut butter cups are a little salty? So okay, I got you. Uh, Yeah, I like that. do you have any hobbies? <laughs> Not any hobbies. Like, I guess music is like, it's not really a hobby, but like it intertwines in. um to like modeling and stuff like that so i take like modeling as like a hobby taking pictures and being in music videos and stuff like that um You've been in, have you been in any like notable music videos? other than that i've been in a couple but you know like i feel like i don't like to be like oh i've been in this music video and it wasn't like a main scene like you know if i'm thrown in with all the girls type vibe it's like oh yeah i was in there somewhere you go see me for like two seconds <laughs> Um, what's your favorite TV show? Do you watch TV? Um, not really, but I watch, like, I guess Netflix sometimes, like, this, when they throw it on there, then, yeah. I like, um, this show called Selling Sunset. Okay. I like that show. I was just kind of watching Um, that. I know everybody wants, like, everybody to be like, power, but, like, I'm one of the people, you don't got to give me the typical yeah, you seen answer. it? I like that show. Yeah, I watched it. <laughs> yeah, you don't got to give me the typical answer at all. Right. And um, there's this other show that I was watching um, called Dynasty. I like that show. But, like, there's that show. I'm waiting for another season. I don't think it's coming. Dynasty. Oh, wait. Yeah, I know what that is. Okay, that's a remake, though, I think, from an older show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I hear. But I like it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get up out of here. So what is something that you want people to kind of check out from you coming soon? Are you working on anything? Well, yeah, I'm actually about to um, start working on a new video for the song I'm going to drop. Um, my Instagram, I was promoting it. It's called Material Girl. Nice. Um, that's going to be my last sample. Oh, okay. You got to make original content. <laughs> She said original music. Scratch. yeah. Okay. I'm about to switch it <laughs> up. <laughs> Switch it up. Yeah, like, who just put out, like, original songs? I think it was Pink Pantherist. She kind of didn't do any samples recently in this new album. And I feel like that's got that's about to be the wave again. Like, no I like her. less sampling. You do? She's, she's dope. Yeah, she's so cute. That song that you were playing when you were first streaming was so fire. Um, Yeah, that was you her. Uh, That's messaged her new song. me that. And yeah, that's dope. Okay, so Material Girl, <laughs> do you 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 have a release date for it? um, not as of yet. It's going to probably be dropped like in the new year coming. So like January, February. Okay. And do you have any performances coming up at all? It's it was winter, so probably maybe. Not as of yet, no. Definitely, we got to get you into some of them summer festivals, though. Yeah, hopefully soon. So, let me put this interview up and have people call you. You got to be out there. <laughs> uh, it's your time. It's your year. And everybody, this is Lena Cray. Thank you for coming to Girl World Media, first episode of interviews. And I'm excited. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. And I hope to see you again. Like I said, I want to have a studio meetup one day, and that'll be, like, really dope to have you again. Yeah.
Thank you. For sure. Sounds great. Thanks for inviting me. Of course. And bye, the gorgeous. Look about. He in love my body, I'm different, ain't tripping, no capping. I'm driving a boat, I'm a captain, no shifting, straight action. We outside on my niggas is active, no missing. They shoot and they hit and they get to the present. I'm knocking on bitches, I listen. What's a fact? What's a business? They go chat, but I really ain't listening. If they ask, I've been shitting. I don't fit for no nigga, he tricking. Honey K and I got me some chicken. Zaza trick to the face, now I'm lifting. Be he call it for God, he a Christian. Did the dash got him thinking I'm missing? Hey. How they saying that they lip, but they really ain't got no. How they tell me that they're rolling, but they really ain't got no pay. How they said they spin on blocks, ain't spin my way. These bitches don't know about hurt, they don't know about pain. <laughs> y'all bitches ain't on shit. Y'all get the baggy, y'all fumbling. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs>